Hey, good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. Well, have a very beautiful day happening today. It's going to be a beautiful solar day. And as you can see, the sun has still not cleared the trees where I need it to be. But it's going to be a good charging day. So I was really hoping to be able to say I had another month of absolutely zero cost uh, in the electricity use out here. And it was my own procrastination that cost me a little bit of gasoline for the first time in several months. And as you can see, here's my test panel array that I've been using in a lot of videos. And you can see it is still, at this time of the day, which is 10.30 in the morning right now, not really getting any sun. And I mentioned before that I really needed to move that over into this area, which is needing a little weed whacking and clearing to set up a more permanent array and move this test array into a more permanent position. That would have made all of the difference. And I just never got around to it, but I'm going to get to it this afternoon because... I'm disappointed that I <laughs> had to spend a little bit of money to charge the system up. But I'll show you what that... I mean, just the difference of those few feet. Here, complete shade, basically, for these panels. And these trees are pretty tall. The sun is just up there. Now it will peak over that, these trees right here at about noon. But I, I can't go that many hours of not catching great sun. Because, you know, that's an hour and a half yet away before it's going to clear those trees and drop on these test panels. So they're going to get moved over. Because, I mean, it's just a beautiful, mostly cloudless day. And over there, been in sunshine for a good solid couple of hours already, and will stay that way till much of the end of the day. So, that would have made all the difference. All the difference. Pure, we'll just call it procrastination cost me about uh what was it gas is about 525 as of yesterday so we'll go with that i put a half a gallon in the generator ran it for about a half of an hour uh, boosted the system up so call it about two dollars and fifty cents for supplemental charge to running the entire electrical system not bad but my goal is zero and the only reason it wasn't zero was I just didn't move these over here so that's going to be the project for today going to get out the weed whacker we're going to get all that cleared out set up a more permanent array out there I've been using this test section for quite a while I need to move it out now and in here on that little standalone system using this Red Odo 200 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. You can see if those panels were out there in the full sun right now, I'd be getting a couple hundred watts. And this is the lowest I've ever let this get. 7.6%. Way lower than I like it. And sitting at 12.88 volts for the battery and there that's the disappointing 
only charging a half an amp right now. Not good. Gonna move it. That should be, you know, getting 200 watts of sunshine pumping into here, which would take it up really quick. As it is, when the sun starts hitting that uh, test array there, in the next hour or so, uh, it will put a nice charge on these today, but this is unsatisfactory for me. I'm not going to uh, let it continue like this. going to move those panels, get this system charged up. And just as a comparison, uh, compared to those other two small standalone systems, which that is what I had to boost up with the generator, the main house bank, 10.30 in the morning, 85.6, 85% full anyway. No problem there. It's going to get to 100% easily today in that 1,000 watt array that's tied into this. Uh, hasn't needed a supplement uh, charge in any kind of way in months. So the main house running everything uh, did fine. I just threw that couple of bucks worth of gas on the generator into those other uh, systems to get them up where I like them. So all in all pretty good but still could have done better. <laughs> but as you can see that's where I'm going. That's beautiful sun but a little bit of uh, sweat going to be involved in getting that cleared out. Should be able to get that done in a couple of hours, no problem. Going to fire up the heavy duty machinery and clear that out. Weed whacking. Tomorrow, everything gets back up to full on those auxiliary systems. And I'll be happy. I am continuing to use that uh, Redodo every single day running this induction cooktop, coffee maker every single day, continuing to monitor its uh, reliability, which it has been absolutely flawless and perfect. But I don't like getting my lithium batteries below about 20% ever. So that's what's gonna happen. And then over here on this other system I've got with the, the power queen down there, 46% and that should be, you know, pretty much full too because it's got 300 watts of power tied into it and it's still, you know, another hour away. I uh, got the freezer uh, running right now off of this pulling 73 watts. Let's see if that, so the freezer is running off of that and it's going down at 46% full. Now this will probably get uh, near full today once that sun hits it, but like I said, it's time to move those panels. No more pro procrastination. And I'm gonna have to start my run of zero costs all over again. Came so darn close. <laughs> because the day that I had to uh, give it a little juice to the system running that uh, backup generator was the very last day of August. So, gosh, if I would have just got out there a day earlier and moved those, I could have said zero costs again, but that's the way it goes sometimes. Okay, no more procrastinating. Time to get my sun protective gear on and get out there and get those panels moved. All right, full disclosure, I was lazy and it cost me a couple of bucks. <laughs> Aloha.